Hey guys, it's Ewan with the Air Zoo. One of the most celebrated and iconic figures of World War II was Rosie the Riveter, a fictional representation of the real women who worked in the factories and shipyards during the Second World War. Rosies took part in almost every aspect of war production, but thanks to a 1942 song and Norman Rockwell's 1943 illustration, they're best remembered as Riveters, and for good reason. Look at any of the World War II aircraft here at the Air Zoo and you'll notice just how much riveting had to be done. But what exactly is riveting? Let's go to the Air Zoo's restoration center and find out. There's perhaps no one better to show us how to rivet than Rosie herself. Hello, Rosie. Hi. So tell us, what is riveting? Well, riveting is a job that just takes three tools to do it like they did in World War II. We need rivets, a rivet gun, and a bucking bar. Now, we're also going to take our two pieces of metal that we want to fasten together. We'll drill holes where we want the rivets. And then we're going to take a rivet. And if you look at it, Ewan, you'll see that it has two ends. That has a tail end and a head end. We'll push that in rivet into the hole. And once we do, we're going to grab our rivet gun and our bucking bar. Bucking bar. What is a bucking bar? A bucking bar is just a heavy piece of metal that's held at the tail end of the rivet. I would take the rivet gun and put it at the other end. This gun uses pneumatic pressure to compress the rivet, pushing the pieces of metal closer together so that they're retained between the head and the now flattened tail. And is this a one person job? It can be, but most of the time riveters work in pairs because there are areas that we can't access by ourselves, so we need a partner. That makes sense. Well, I see all the tools here and I see a piece of metal that needs to be riveted and I see two of us, so should we give it a go? Let's do it. Okay. Mind. All right, so I'm going to push this rivet into a hole. Okay. I'm going to ask you to take the bucking bar, you hold got it, it flat against that rivet. Okay. Which one? This one? That one right there. Okay. And then I'll take my rivet gun. Are you ready? Yep. How's it look, Ewan? It looks good to me. How do you know if a rivet's good or not? To know if a rivet's good, you just look at the tail. If that tail's been expanded one and a half times its original size, then you're good to go. Well, this one looks good. What happens if we made a mistake and it's a bad rivet? Well, if we made a mistake, I would have you drill out the rivet and then we'd have to do it all over again. And how many rivets needed to be placed in every plane? Thousands, sometimes close to a million. That is a lot of riveting. It is a lot of riveting, especially when you consider that we do them one at a time using this process. Well, we better get started. We'd better. Are you up for the task? I think so. All right, let's go.